Hey everyone, it's Jackie, and I'm really excited to share with you one of my favorite apps. It is not a very well-known app, so I think it'll be something new for most of you. It is an app that lets you predict your child's future height. It shows you the CDC growth charts that your pediatrician uses, and it's something that I use as a mom of a child with a growth deficiency. That's actually why this app was created, but you don't have to have a child with a growth deficiency to use it. But I'm going to show you how you can use this app both with a growth deficiency, which is the intended purpose, but also for just any kid if you're curious for their percentiles. So we're going to start by, I'll show you how I find this app on iTunes. It's called the Multiplier app, but it you can't find it. It's not one of the top search results if you just write multiplier. So I type in multiplier bone. And here it is, the one with the purple square and the yellow M and multiplier. So you hit open. For you, it would be download and then you open it. Now I'm going to start showing you how any family could use this. You go to height and CDC growth charts and it doesn't matter really what age your child is. You can go in and fill out this based on their actual and current information and it'll give you their current CDC growth chart percentiles for height and weight. It'll also give you predictors for their future weights by age. So I'm going to do this based on my middle daughter. <coughs> I'm going to say her birthday is October. I'm doing it pretty close to her birthday. I won't do her exact birthday, just, just to keep a little mystery out there, I guess. So she's almost seven. She's not quite seven. And she is 51 inches tall. And she weighs about 55 pounds. So I'm gonna hit calculate. So this is telling us that she is going to be 68.7 inches when she's tall, or excuse me, when she's full grown. That's pretty tall for a woman. And it gives you in centimeters as well. And we can hit this button, height at every age. And based on the science of her height, where she is for age, it's going to tell us at every age what they predict her height will be. So when she's 17, she'll be 68.9 inches and you can see every age in between. I think this is just pretty fun to look at. You know, if you think your child is tall or short, it just gives you a good idea if you want to know what they'll most likely be like. And growth isn't an exact science. There's no promises there, of course. But here, you can see um, this is where she falls on the CDC growth charts. This is the same exact growth chart that your pediatrician would use. So you can see my daughter is very tall for her age and her weight is not as high on the percentiles. Um, but she's always been tall and thin and this is exactly what it shows. So again, you can do that with any child. You don't need to have a growth deficiency. This app just has that as part of it. However, the actual app was created for families like mine who have someone with a growth deficiency. My daughter was born with a growth deficiency in her left leg. However, this can be for your leg, your body, um, achondroplasia, I probably said that wrong, um, for f feet with different s foot sizes, which my daughter also has that. It really pretty much any bone discrepancy that you have, but I'm going to show you how we use it um, just as an example. So LLD stands for lower limb discrepancy and our, my daughter's is congenital. You can see there's a lot of different stuff that we could go off of here, but I'm just going to go with the discrepancy predictor. So her entire leg is affected, which means it's both her tibia and her femur. She's a female. Again, I'm going to do, oops, really close to her birthday. We'll just say that day. Again, almost seven. 
her current discrepancy right now is five centimeters. That means her left leg is currently five centimeters shorter than her right leg. And in the past, she has lengthened 13 centimeters. So it takes into account any corrections that you've made in the past. And it's going to calculate that from here on out, she will probably have a 12.9 centimeter discrepancy if we don't address it and that's 5.1 inches and this is going to break it down into by age so by the time she's seven it will be 5.1 centimeters instead of five and you can just see it climbs up all the way to 12.9 centimeters we have used this ever since she was 18 months old when they first had this app it has gone through many iterations and updates and it has a lot more features than when we first started using it it's a wonderful tool. You can go in here and play around with it. Like I said, you don't have to have a child with a bone discrepancy. And you can just come in here and play around. It's a really cool app. I'm going to show you the additional resources. It just has, I'm going to the credits here, um, the doctors who have created this, the hospital it's affiliated with, just some information. Um, my daughter's doctor is actually Sean Standard. He's wonderful. We love the Rubin Institute for Advanced Orthopedics. And we think that this app is something awesome that they have created. I had a lot of fun sharing it with you today. I think it is something that you can have fun going in there and playing with. Like my son, everyone tells us how tall he is. And even though he doesn't have a bone discrepancy, I can measure him and go in here and it currently predicts that he will be six foot two, which kind of surprises me because I thought he would probably be taller than that. But based on, um, you know, science, he is predicted to be six foot two. And that's just kind of fun to see how that'll change over the years or to write it down now and see when he's seven, is it going to match what he's predicted to be? or just to see where he falls on the CDC growth charts. Just kind of fun to play around with. I really appreciate you joining me on this little mini app tour. Let me know below if you found this to be interesting, if you're going to download the app for yourself to play around with your kids' information. And I'd absolutely love to have you join me as a subscriber. I am participating in Vlogtober. My goal is to, of course, post a video every single day. And I'd love to have you join me as I do that. Thanks, guys.